<clears throat> we as women are only 77% of men. A woman only makes 77 cents for every one dollar a man makes. 77% of people. But we are not 23% less. We are equal. My sister is proof of this. Beautiful mind, hidden behind soft skin and long hair, always invited to meetings and debates. And she felt accomplished to attend, as if her DC internship, political science degree, and true potential had finally poked through her plump lips. Until the man who had originally invited her then asked to go out for drinks. Wanting to rise to success on the lever of her mind, yet trapped under the weight of her gender, she refused these men and was never invited back. Men, you act as if you are special, as if you have a magical cloak gracing your skin that enhances all abilities. You have foreskin and nothing more. <laughs> you, act, you act as if your testicles make you stronger, as if what hangs down below adds to what's up here but they're tiny sperm spheres. <laughs> In fact, I would like to drop a weight on your balls, see what they can really carry. <laughs> you act as if the end of your penis makes you smarter. And I realize we're all raised on the philosophy that two heads are better than one. <laughs> but I don't think that's exactly what was meant. In fact, I'd like to shove a pen inside you and watch you write a sonnet if it be that impressive. <laughs> the pecker hanging between your legs has no special ability. You do not ejaculate godliness. You are, human. you are human, and so are women, yet somehow less. And our heels click against cold floors, clicking through supermarket aisles, scanning tomatoes in order to cook the perfect meal. It's our place to do so. Clicking through household rooms, balancing never-ending chores and unappreciated attempted culinary excellence, this is our most common job, homemaker. But rarely do we ever click in dazzling spotlights of the mind. Now this clicking is typically the loudest voice that we have, yet merely a shallow echo. But it should boom in a cascade of equality, shattering the ears of old-fashioned sexists that put a man atop a pedestal 23% higher than what we could reach. But with our voices screaming loud, we can climb atop this seemingly unreachable pedestal. We can climb up to equality, and it should be easy for us to do. After all, we are wearing heels. <laughs>